myself and Alyssa in our video. And I brought Alyssa in because she has a really special talent. And a lot of you guys probably don't even know this because we've not talked about it for a long time. A very long time. In fact, Since we made I was three. Yes, we made a video. It was like one of our very first ever videos. And it was Alyssa, three years old, showing that she had perfect pitch. Oh, in age. Yes, which is crazy to even think about that. But it's true. And so some people, of course, are like, oh no, she's reading something. And no, she wasn't reading, she was three. But we're gonna demonstrate it again for you guys. We're gonna talk about it today because it's a really unique and special skill. Not a lot of people have it. And Alyssa does, and it's, even though I'm her mom, it's mind blowing. It's crazy. So. <laughs> and when, I, when someone plays the note, and I know exactly what note it is, everyone's like, whoa, and I'm like, is it that cool? Because it seems normal to me. And when yeah. someone doesn't know the note, I'm like, how do you not know that? See, she thinks it's normal to know what every note in the world is, but like, for everybody else, you could play a pitch and you wouldn't know what it is. So now to back up a little bit, what is perfect pitch? I asked Alyssa to look up something on her phone so we could read you guys the definition or at least summarize the definition so you guys could know what perfect pitch is because maybe you don't know. Perfect pitch is the ability to recognize the pitch of a note or produce any given note a sense of absolute pitch. So absolute pitch, perfect pitch, that's what Alyssa has. There's also something called relative pitch and that's where maybe someone plays a C on the piano. Alyssa, can you sing us a C? Uh. There it is. Okay, so she sang the C for us. Um, so I, maybe if I had relative pitch, I would have this C already in my head, or somebody would play that C for me, and then I could go, oh, bum, bum, oh, I got to E, like I could figure that out, right? So you can figure out notes by hearing a note and relating it to that other note. So once you have that C in your head, some people are really good at hearing intervals based on knowing one steady foundation note. So that's relative pitch. That is not what Alyssa has. She has something far superior to that <laughs> called perfect pitch, perfect pitch, which is amazing. It sounds pretty cool too. Yes, so we're gonna demonstrate that right now. But beforehand, I'm gonna show you guys the whole room that we're in so you can know that we're not tricking you. There's no cheating, no tricking, I yes. promise. I've seen other people do perfect pitch videos where they play songs and they like sing along or whatever they do and I'm just like, but you cut your video. So for me, when there's cuts in the video, I'm thinking like, I don't know about that. I don't know if it's always yeah. true. So we're not gonna do any cuts once we start and it's gonna be just Alyssa showing off her skills. In fact, I'll even close my eyes. Yes, we can do that too. So here's the room that we are filming in. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna be sitting right there. There's an opening here, there's our instruments over there, we've got our windows over here, and we're gonna have the camera on this tripod. So there's nothing for Alyssa to look at to figure out what note. Someone out the window or something, I'll be closing my <laughs> Yeah, we'll, you know what? We'll get your face mask, we can close yeah, your eyes. I'll go get my face mask. Okay, you get that. Okay, we switched spots. I'm gonna be at the piano. Alyssa got her face mask. She's gonna put that on. I have to take off my headband though. Uh -oh. Nobody look, nobody look. Okay, you can look now. So, it won't put okay. it on yet, but. Okay, so she's gonna put her face mask on and I'm going to test her all over the piano. Yeah. Okay. Okay, ready? Now, actually what I might do is I'm gonna use Alyssa's phone and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm playing so you can see some of the keys I'm playing before even she sees them. Okay. okay. Scoot this okay. way. I can't see anything. Here we go. We'll start easy. A. D. G. E flat. F sharp. G. D. F. C sharp. C sharp. B flat. F sharp. D. This is the crazy part. She can even go really high. G. B flat. Wow. Okay, we're gonna go right there. G. She got it. I like, know they are kind of hard, but this mask is super itchy. But it's okay. <laughs> okay, we're not done. Okay. So we've gone all over the keyboard. I'm gonna make sure I've done all 12 tones with the chromatic scale, though. So 
Put your mask back on. And I'm gonna try to trick her this time. We're gonna go fast. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. F, G, E, B flat, C sharp, G, D, G. Wait, am I saying am I am I saying it too fast? No, you're good. Oh, okay. <laughs> e flat. B. Oh wait, no, wait. Wait, play it again? It's okay. <laughs> B flat. I almost tricked her, but not really. I just went too fast for her. <laughs> F sharp. Okay. I'm going to play you a cluster of notes, okay. and you're going to tell me the middle note. Middle note. So I'll play you three, okay? Three yeah. notes. <laughs> Any kind of chord, you tell me the middle note. Ready? Yeah. We'll start easy. F sharp. Good. Wait, um, am, I, am I facing the camera? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can face the camera. I'm going to again pull out this other camera so that you guys can see what I'm playing, since you might not be able to see from up there what I'm actually doing. So, okay, I'm going to... Record here, and I'm gonna play these three notes. E. Good job. There's the middle note. There's E. She got it. Let's do something ugly. Let's try. Oh, it's probably the ugly note. That wasn't ugly at all. F. Yes. B flat. B flat. Nope. No B flat. You got it wrong. Oh, is it B? Yeah. Oh, I listened to it again. <laughs> okay, yeah, B. <laughs> we stopped because her mask was itching her face too much, and I also wanted to get another instrument, because in a second, we're going to use another instrument. Let's see if we can trick her that way. Okay, so, um, going back, I'm going to do two, three notes, whatever I want to do, and I'm going to ask you questions and still try to trick you. So, okay, here we go. Tell me the middle note here. E. Good job, you got it. There it is. There's an E. Okay, here's another one. B flat? Yep. There's a B flat. Okay, now I'm going to play a few notes fast. Chords, whatever I want to play. I'll just be like trying to confuse you. And I'm going to end on one note, and you're going to tell me what the last note you heard was, okay? Last note? Okay. Yeah. seen. It's called a melodica. Ooh. I've had this since I was a kid. My parents had this. It's probably really, really old, but it's super fun to play. I just love playing it as a kid because, I don't know, I played the piano, so I guess I thought it was really fun, but it's a different timbre than the piano, and so maybe it'll trick Alyssa. Maybe so I won't look. Okay. okay, so here we go. I'm going to play a note, and you guys will be able to see what I'm playing because I'm going to face the camera with it. So here's the first note. Really loud. <laughs> wait, wait, I wasn't paying attention. Wait, a flat? Yep, there it is, right there. D. G. F sharp. C sharp? Yep. Before I leave, I thought you guys might be interested in this instrument, so I would show you a few more things. So this instrument comes with two mouthpieces for whatever reason, black and white. And in case you're wondering, 
You can play more than one note at once, so I'll show you how that works. It's kind of like a harmonica sound, but you blow with your mouth and play like a piano, so it's really fun. And then... So you can play like that, and then when you're done, there's like a little thing right here and a little valve kind of thing. You blow in it, and it actually gets the spit out. So in case you've produced spit in this, you can clean it that way. So you just blow it out, and then you can kind of clean it. But it's kind of a fun little thing. Like you can just so I haven't played it for a while, but like you can play little ditties if you know them, and you can play more than one. Um, key at a time, so it's kind of a fun little thing. So, anyway, that is that. And now I will really get the next instrument. Okay, I'll be back. I'm back with the next instrument, and I brought the clarinet. I'm sure a lot of you guys have played the clarinet or currently do play the clarinet, but I thought this would be interesting because you might know that the clarinet is in the key of B flat. So what does that mean? Well, that means that when I play a C on the clarinet and I finger C and I read C and it looks like C on the music staff, it sounds like a B flat. So for someone with perfect pitch, that can actually be quite confusing because Alyssa, she was playing clarinet when she was in band, it was actually really hard for her. It was so hard, <laughs> I hated it all. Oh. Because she would say, she'd be playing a G. So she'd see the G on the screen, on the screen, on the, paper. <laughs> on the music, and she like hear the G in her head, and then she'd play the clarinet, and it would come out as an F, and she'd be like, "Wait a second, it would be I'm so, so confused." Confusing. Oh. So it can be tricky when you have perfect pitch and you play an instrument that's not on the key of C because your head kind of messes with your head. You know, you, you see something and it doesn't sound like what you expect it so, to sound. Like. When we're gonna do this, do you want me to name the actual clarinet note or the pitch I hear? Um, why don't you name the pitch you hear and we'll confirm on the piano. Okay, so okay. just whatever pitch I actually hear? Yeah. Okay. okay, so I'm just putting on the reed. I have this awesome plastic reed. I've had it since I was in college. I actually played the clarinet throughout college in the marching band, which was quite an honor. It was audition only and I actually made it in there. So it was pretty fun. The field shows and all the stuff we did was quite fun. So this reed is old, but it's plastic and it has literally lasted forever. I'll be devastated if I ever break it actually. Hey, you put yours this way? Yep, that's how this one goes. So here's the first note. B flat. So she said B flat and she's correct. So if you know clarinet, you'll know I played a C, but it sounds like a B flat. So there's that one. Here we go, next note. Uh, wait, play it again? E flat. Yep, so I played an F. You'll go down a whole step from F, making it E flat. C. Yep, I played a D. Oh, no, C. Yeah, but she said C. Oh. Yes, <laughs> which is correct. See, so it is, it's hard. I'm like, no, 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 I played a D, but no, I played a D. It sounds like a C, that's correct. So, B. Yep, so she's getting them all right. So I can't even trick her on a B flat instrument. But just for fun, we're gonna play one more instrument for you guys, and it's gonna be the ukulele. So we're gonna have Zach come in, and he's gonna play his ukulele for us. And I'm gonna set my clarinet on this clarinet stand that I love, so my clarinet does not fall over. Okay, you ready? Yeah. So Zach's gonna come, and he's going to play the ukulele I shall wear my mask. Okay. Um, let's do a note first. Okay. C sharp. We'll check it. Sure is. B flat. E. C. B flat. F. C. Now why don't you try doing... I haven't been thinking about it anymore. I just know. <laughs> Literally, I'm thinking about... The why don't we try a chord? Why don't we play a chord and see if you can name the okay. chord? So, try to do a major chord, though. Okay. G. A minor? Yeah. Good job. C. C7. Good yeah. job. I'm like doing this in my head. Good job. <laughs> okay, well, as you guys can see, Alyssa has a very, very strong perfect pitch game going on. Um, there's nothing lacking there. So I think it's amazing. It's a skill that she's born with. It's pretty cool. It's not really something that you can teach yourself. I know there's some places that'll say like, oh, you can learn perfect pitch, but it's not really not true. Really. It's basically like either you have it or you don't. Yes, you can improve your sense of pitch. Yeah, you can learn good pitch, but you can't learn perfect pitch. Yeah, so you can improve your, like I said, your sense of pitch by using relative pitch and things like that. 
But perfect pitch is just something that people are born with. Some people have it, some people don't. And it's just like a blessing if you do. It's kind of cool. It's just unique and interesting. And it's not something someone would know about you by looking at you. So that's why I thought it would be fun to make this video because I figured no one knows that about Alyssa. Like we might be into music, but that doesn't mean we all have perfect pitch. So yeah. I thought it was cool. And I'm pretty sure I'm the only one in our family who has it, right? I'm not sure. I feel like Chris has really close. Yeah, I don't know. really close. I haven't tested him officially and I don't know about Owen because he can't really do anything about it yet. But so we have you perfect pitch? I do have perfect pitch, yes. <laughs> So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And I hope you guys liked the video. And Make sure you give a thumbs up. You want to give me a test? You can test. Um, sure. I'll do three notes. <laughs> okay. Now, no, I'm not a drum. You want to go to the drum. <laughs> what note is this, Mommy? No, I don't do drum notes. <laughs> hey, Mommy, Daddy. Is that note a drum? Go. B flat. <laughs> B. B flat. Yeah. F. Hold on. D. Oh, yeah. I can't do my double check. There's the D. So, but I'm not saying Alyssa inherited it, although, yes, I have perfect pitch. Also, you know, it's still Mommy, hers, one so. more hard one, right? No more, no more, no more. Oh, my gosh. I heard a B in that, actually. I heard a G in that. How about this? You should do that. Next time, we'll have a list of name clusters of notes all together. We name all the notes in the cluster. Next time, come back yes. for a part two. If you guys want to see more of this, you tell us. But we had fun doing this, and we thought it'd be fun to share, so. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. See Bye. you later.